I'm going to show everyone my garage. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. So we were working in a parking lot before and check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at this garage. Look at this nice, fancy wood finishing along the edges. Open sunroof. Wide open for maximum visibility and windness on your skin to keep you cool. And it's, I mean, it's massive. I mean, we're talking what? 100, 300 thousand square feet? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah, we got that going for us. And um, got the camera set up. We're gonna do a video on stator along with the exhaust replacement. And just wanna show you guys what we were working with. Okay, so now we're gonna be re removing this exhaust system, the full system. So it's gonna be the mufflers, the mid pipe, and the headers. Stock headers, I have engraved the mid pipe, and these HMF mufflers. Uh, we're gonna be going to a Graves full system exhaust. Like I said, or kind of like the previous video with the stator, I'm not gonna be showing you step by step on how to do it. It's more just gonna be me doing it. We're gonna get right into it. Like I said, I'll show you a clip of how it sounds before, how it sounds after, how it looks, blah, blah, blah. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, fuck me on the blah, blah, blah. I fucking hate that. That's Why do so I do funny. that? I don't know. Every time. But I always think of the, um, this Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 start with the bike, teach you guys what not to do. We have the mufflers and the mid pipe off. This is not how your bike should sound. It's gonna sound loud as fuck and I'm gonna piss off the neighbors. So, let's do it. Can't see my face. There we go. Exhaust system is off. It's the headers. And the mid pipe. Graves mid pipe, which is pretty much going back on. It's from the different person though. And the mufflers. Mufflers are so much heavier than the new Graves mufflers. It's ridiculous. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna continue that. And then here are the new headers, springs. Got it used, but gonna be sick as fuck. Okay, so doing an update, we weren't able to record a lot last night just because it got dark. We were working on it until past it was dark before we picked up Julian. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what we had to do. And yeah, so for the mufflers, you just have to take off this top fairing. It's four push rivets. And then there's two bolts holding out the mufflers. And then they basically slide right off the left one's easier to get off because you can twist it this one was a little bit more difficult i had to use a rubber mallet and hit it and then it finally slipped off and then you take off the rear set you take off the mid pipe bolt loosen this one too so this is flexible um and i took out my wide band o2 sensor and then from there obviously you take off the clamp the mid pipe slides off especially if you take off this rear set trick is if you have an O2 sensor or wideband O2 sensor, get the mid pipe off first because then you can hold the mid pipe here and rotate it. That way you don't have to twist the sensor like crazy. Um, don't have to twist the wires, you know what I mean? So that's what I did. And I'm gonna do the same thing, put it back out. I'm gonna hold the pipe here, rotate it this way to get the sensor in. 
at least most of the way, and then I'll place it. Um, this is the Graves header. I don't have anything bolted down yet except for the flanges. Going into that, that's it right there. I think I'm gonna do the springs next. And I'm not gonna bolt down the mid pipe until I have the mufflers kind of in place. Generally with exhaust systems, you wanna get everything all mounted up first before you tighten them. But I did do the flange bolts first. And I don't think that's a big deal. I'm just trying to decide if I wanna do the springs next or not. The biggest uh, problem we ran into when putting on the headers is just that I thought I had the pipes in the wrong position because it wasn't quite lining up. Like I got these two midsections on, but then getting it to the bigger pipe in the center, it just wasn't lining up. And then you'd have to kind of pull one of them out, you know, like kind of loosen one, rotate it, push it back in, and then squeeze it all together to finally get it on. Um, either way, we figured out it wasn't that difficult. And getting in there was kind of difficult though. Obviously there's not a lot of room, so took off this bolt right here so you can move the radiator. And it gives you just enough room along with a, what do you call it, a swivel head socket. One of these guys. So, yep, that's where we're at so far. Next up is the mid pipe along with the springs and then the mufflers. Okay, so one thing I had to learn the hard way is these springs are absolutely impossible to get on while the flange is mounted up on the studs. So as you can see here, there's literally no tolerance back here at all. There's no way to get the springs on. So I have to take the flanges off, get the springs on, put them back on and torque them down. Kind of a pain in the ass, wish I'd known in the first place, but hey, now you have a heads up. Maybe we are always shining bright. Julian, get that out of your mouth. We have the mufflers on now. They seem to be lining up nicely. Of course, nothing's tightened down yet. Um, mid pipe is on. I put on the springs because I was getting a gap right here. Um, I wanted to close that gap up before I tighten anything down. Uh, all this is loose, like I said, even down here. Only thing is, I have a, the mid pipe's not all the way on, I feel like, because I can push it on more. If I push this up, it slides in. I can't really show you one-handed, but it does. Um, I don't think it'd be a big deal because you have this gasket here to help seal it, but that's why I wanted to make sure this side was all buttoned up first because those don't have a gasket and you want those to be fully sealed, whereas this one doesn't necessarily have to be sealed against the ring. The other ring on the inside of this right here, although that would be optimal. Julian, trying to talk. You do it, bud. Is that how I fix it, dude? You gonna help me? You gonna help me fix it? <laughs> so funny. All right, Julian, fix it for daddy. Where does it go, Julian? Yeah? Uh-huh. Tell me more. He knows how to install a Graves exhaust. Yeah, right, dude? the whole thing memorized. Julian. Bubba, look at Dada. Hey. Here, do you need a wrench? <laughs> oh, yeah, I give him a wrench. That's a pretty heavy one. I Here you go, bud. There you go. Just don't hit anything. <laughs> no, no, not the carbon fiber. <laughs> Give him a Julian size one. Here. Julian size wrench. Daddy size wrench and a Julian size wrench. There you go. Tell me what, what goes where. Where 
you gonna do, Mister? Now he's having more fun with the wrench. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good oh, job. he's fixing it. Oh, not. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his tongue out and everything. <laughs> One year old and he's already working on bikes. What do you know? There you go, bud. Look how happy he is. There you go, buddy. Loop that chain with that wrench. You know what you're doing, bud? There you go. That's my boy. Gosh, I wish he was talking now like he was earlier. I know. He's He'll being poke so start funny. Again. I know he will. He's just focused. Oh, don't scratch anything. And now we are playing the full system exhaust map. We've got it set for. Let's see, this is the table. What it does, richens it up on the top end quite a bit. At almost 30 right there. Then we have our auto tune tables. I fill in this section where it goes up to 6,000 RPMs and like 10% throttle. Generally, you'd have your stock O2 sensor for that, but I took it out and I have auto tune control that. So, that's what we got going on. We're about to start up. Okay, we got the exhaust and cell. We're gonna start it up now and see the sound difference between the HMF mufflers with the stock headers and the Graves full system exhaust. Mid pipe is leaking like a motherfucker. Really? Okay, so the exhaust system is on. Um, it's all buttoned up, bolted down, all that. It looks great, but the issue I was having is first of all, the mid pipe doesn't fully seat where the headers are. This should be further up. There's nothing I could do about it. I loosened the header bolts, took off all the springs, I pushed it forward, and it looked like it would seat right. Then as soon as you put the mufflers on with the springs, it just pulls it back up. I even called Graves about it. Um, he said it should fit completely fine and perfectly. There shouldn't be any issues, blah, blah, blah. But he said I could take it to their shop if I wanted them to check it out. Second complaint, look at this shit. Completely moves. It's kind of bullshit to me, it's pissing me off. I don't know if it's because the mid pipe because the tolerance is too high here. Um, and also even this side, it moves up and down. You move it up, you see the whole pipe twist. Kind of hard to show while doing it, but bam, see it moves like that. This way it's unaligned, then if I push it up, when I push it up, it's more aligned then. So, it's really annoying. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, maybe, maybe this is the price I pay for getting something used. Okay, so we got the whole exhaust system installed. The problem I was having was an exhaust leak on the mid pipe. It's actually where the collector meets the mid pipe right here. It would be that gasket inside there. For whatever reason, it wasn't seating right. 
Um, what I ended up doing is this little bracket right here, I used a hammer and hit it upwards, so I was able to push the mid pipe up more. Um, that kind of got me a little better positioning and it decreased the gap here between the muffler and the mid pipe. There's still a little gap there, but I couldn't get it perfect. And then what I ended up using, no matter what I did, I couldn't get the leak to go away, so I used this stuff here. Ultra copper, high temperature RTV basically, or silicone. Um, I absolutely coated the mating surfaces inside the exhaust pipe and then where the gasket meets the mid pipe and I mean just everything and I got it seated perfectly and then I had to just with the clamp it's just a stupid design how they did the clamp but I was able to just mess with it until I felt like it was sealing well and I had to basically squeeze the uh they call it a stopper it's the very last piece the one that's got a slit in it I just squeezed that together to get it to see right. Otherwise it had like an opening on the side. It was just stupid. Um, anyways, the leak's gone, so I'm happy. That will conclude the Graves full system exhaust install. It was way more difficult than it should have been, most likely because this is not a brand new bike with a stock system. I had other exhaust systems installed and the head pipe wasn't, or I'm sorry, the headers weren't uh, an exact set with the mufflers and all that. So, I mean, who knows, it was used but I got it to work. So if you have any questions about the exhaust or installing your own exhaust, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to, you know, reply and give you the best opinion I can give you. And uh, be sure to subscribe guys and check out my other videos.